What's happening beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike and welcome back to The Journey. Where I'm building different squads, we progress through divisional play, get involved in some tournaments, and as always, I'm dropping feedback on which players really perform well, and other guys that don't hand out the business. They're a little bit of a disappointment, and before I begin, if you guys need Ultimate Team Coins, check out FIFACoinsToday.com, the links will be in the description, and make sure to use the code MICHS09, M-I-C-H-S-09, in order to get an additional 10% off on every single purchase. I've decided to go with a League One Sweat Squad, and we're keeping things cheap. We're going discount shopping. We're on a budget, under 20,000 coins, so everyone should be able to replicate this squad. And I've decided to use the 451 formation, and if we could smash 300 likes on this video, that would be outstanding. The support on this series in the last few videos has been through the roof, and I appreciate it. It just means that you guys are enjoying this, and that's a good look. I love making content, and I want to make content you guys enjoy watching. So we get into match number one. We're in divisional play. We're back. We're back in action, uh, Division 3, and we're looking for promotion. We're hungry. And my question of the day, as Cavani misses with that off foot, is who do you guys think are the best gems in the League 1? And by gems, I'm talking about players that are underused. They're, they're quality, but you just don't see them in that many starting 11s. And for me, in this squad, a good example is Sis. He's a left back. He's a silver and I would call him a super silver. He plays with the best of them. And I just hardly ever see him in anyone's squad builder. He's fast. He seems strong. His positioning's good. Ah, we should have finished that Mortinho. What kind of touch? But that's a good example. Drop a comment. Let me know. Who do you guys think are the best gems? Ah, we smashed the post. We cannot get a goal. And I was coming back from playing a lot of head-to-head. -head, and I didn't adjust that, that well to FUT. It took me a couple of matches to really get back in the flow of things a little bit quicker. And that is a dirty challenge. What are you doing, Gomez? What are you doing? Send him out of here. Kick him out of the game, ref. Come on. There's the red card. But let's talk about the squad a little bit. So in net, we have Sirigu with a 0-0 draw. That's not, that's not good. That's never a good sign when you're not scoring any goals. And Sirigu, to me, is the easiest choice at keeper. He's very cheap. He's affordable, 1,000 coins, and he's the best in, uh, in the League One. Uh, I think hands down, he, he runs the show. He's very consistent. You can count on him to, to make the majority of saves. Maybe not like that. That was a little bit sweaty. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. And uh, my opponent's not done. He gets me on a nice little counter here at toe, and look at that for a finish. Whew, what a peach of a goal. Can't complain. I'm licking my lips. It's looking tasty. And then on the defense, we have Sis, as I kind of stated earlier. I gave you the scouting report. He does everything well, and he has defending stats that really equal up to all the, all the other golds in this league. So you should give him an opportunity. He's a couple thousand coins, and I think that he is well worth his expense. Well worth that purchase. Good investment. Oh, we had a goose egg at halftime, but we're back in action. Cavani with the finish. A little bit lucky. Rebounded out to me, but I'll take it. I need the goal. And at the center backs, we have Inkulu and Marquinhos. Both pretty common choices. Relatively cheap. A lot of people team Marquinhos up with his teammate, Thiago Silva. And if you have an extra 25,000 or 30,000 coins just sitting in that pocket, they're eating a hole for you. Go ahead and invest in them. Thiago Silva is one of those defenders that if you can afford him, he should be in your starting 11 every day of the week. And, man, we got another draw. Not good. Not good. I don't like these draws. I want some victories. We need some points on the board. Benteke up front. He's got Mertens. He's got Morales. Should be interesting to see how this game opens up. Ah, over the top through ball. Look at that chest down by Cavani. Probably should have went with the power finish, but he slots it home with the finesse. And no complaints out of me. Cavani tells him, get, get going. Get some music playing. I'm dancing. And we have Mariano closing out the back line. Great defender. Uh, the Brazilian used to have four-star skill moves. I believe he has three now, but he's still very slick on the ball. He's fast. His positioning is good. No complaints. And pretty even first half. We did have the one goal. I'll take it. Any way to get the lead is a is a good way to get the lead. And then we have Matuidi at that center mid position. And I was a little bit disappointed. I would have preferred someone that was a little more defensive-minded. And that seems so weird talking about a CDM playing center mid being too attacking. But his work rates really put him out of position. And then at the center attacking mids, we've got Menez, and we also have Mortinho. But I wish I would have included maybe my Mayuka instead of Mortinho because I didn't think Mortinho supported uh, Cavani very well. Ooh, and my opponent makes a mistake on the throw in, and we're not going to take take that for granted. We're scoring goals, we're getting victories. 85th minute, that's how you close out a match. And I know that he is frustrated. I heard him yelling through the connect, but hey. Hey, I didn't make that throw in. Not my mistake. I just I just handled the business afterward. 
But I would have liked to try uh, Mayuka, even as is Cam. I know that he's not a great passer, but he has that high-low, and he's trying to beat that offside trap all the time. And Cavani is a great single striker, not so much when he's playing together. Ooh, he almost took an early lead. I, I like Cavani by himself, but when he team him up with somebody else, that's when things kind of get, ah. He doesn't help each other. He doesn't help the other striker. And my opponent scores a corner kick. Ah, Sergio almost got it, though. And on outside, we have Lucas, and we also have Alessandrini. Alessandrini. Sorry, that is a tongue twister. Try to say that guy's name fast a few times, and you're going to struggle. It's tough. Back heel. Can we finish? Ah, the keeper gets down well. And Alessandrini, oh, wow. sorry about that, guys, is a really great uh, second option if you can't afford Lavezzi. Otherwise, go with Lavezzi. I think he's also around that 30K area, but clearly the best left wing in the league. And a lot of the top players in League One should come to no surprise, but they're coming from PSG. And Cavani, can we break him down? Come on, baby. Ah, I wish Cavani had a four-star weak foot. You can definitely tell that he is not as comfortable with his left as he is with the right. And I don't, I don't know if I really need to go into depth about Lucas. You kind of know what you're getting. I hadn't done any KSI exploits in this entire this entire video. And boom, I just had a feeling that he wasn't going to be paying attention after the halftime whistle. And we start out kickoff. We get a nice little chip. Mortinho with the finish. Great touch. Catch the defense flat-footed. And I really think that move's not very difficult to, to stop. But if someone's not paying attention, you got to punish them. Sometimes it's a nice mix-up, especially if you had trouble beating their... The, being their defense could be an easy way to transition the game into your favor. And Cavani, I know some of you guys are going to hate. I know some people do not like using Cavani, but when you're playing a single striker, you need him to support. You need him to show for the ball, and look at that. Comeback has begun. And that's why I think Cavani, even with the poor work rates, really does his thing. He shows up, and he's able to offer you a complete striker uh, a role in terms of winning things in the air, being strong on the ball, having the speed, running all match, and just being right place, right time. And I am definitely going to co-sign him here. I've had good and bad moments with Cavani, but I think if you're doing the single striker deal, it's going to work out for you. And of course, with PSG, when you have someone like Ibra, you never would want to run a single striker with Cavani because you just wouldn't be utilizing that squad correctly. As we get a 4-2 victory, look at that efficiency though. 10 shots, 10 on target, 100% shot accuracy. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter at Mike's9USA. I got a lot more content coming for you ASAP ASAP.